Hi everybody, I thought I would just do my little video recording for Sheepski Designs. Um, it's using the gorgeous Geisha. Um, and I think you'll all agree she's absolutely gorgeous. I will try not to get in your way, um, my big head in your way whilst I do this. I'm a bit rusty because I haven't been colouring very much recently. Um, so, if I go quiet it's because I'm totally concentrating. So, I don't know if you know about Sheepski Designs. Andrea um, is very, very talented. Um, she drew this beautiful, well, gorgeous geisha, as the name suggests. You can get her shop at www.eatsy.com shop Sheepski Designs for anybody that wants to buy this digi stamp. Um, so. I hope everybody's New Year's going really good. I can't believe that's us into the middle of January again. It's been quite a quick January so far. Um, Anya's been really cuddling in with us more and more. She's getting really sweet. She's starting to tell Kevin. <laughs> I'll say to her, tell dad mum needs a cup of tea and she actually does now, it's really cute. She runs away and gets them and tells them. Um, and of course those of, uh, those of you that follow us when we do do our lives, which we haven't done for quite a while, we'll need to get back into doing them. She'll uh, no doubt make an appearance. Um, I should maybe tell you that I'm using Classics by Spectrum Noir to colour this tonight. Um, I am actually a pen connoisseur, <laughs> if that's a thing. I have been using um, Ink Lily pens recently and I have found them to be very good. Uh, laying down... Uh, they're very juicy, so you have to be, well, I feel that I have to be quite slow with them, but it's so mindful just sitting colouring in, so you don't want to rush it anyway, unless you're doing videos or lives, I suppose. You don't want to take everybody's time up. Um, I am not, by any manner of means, uh, perfect at colouring. I have a lot to learn still. I don't do it anybody's way. I just do it my own style. I enjoy um, the mindfulness of it. I enjoy... Why did I have to pick such a detailed... <laughs> this is so detailed and I'm trying so hard not to run over the flowers. There was three versions of this um, beautiful, gorgeous geisha. Geisha and um, one of the versions was her without flowers on her um, clothing and one of them is without and, th and this one is the one with flowers on her clothing as you can see but no flowers on her parasol so I thought okay well we'll do the one without the flowers on the parasol um, so that we can do it quicker <laughs> Um, and this uh, just now seems to be a lesson on how not to colour more than a lesson. Well, not that I would ever say that I'm giving you a lesson on how to colour because as I say, I um, have a lot to learn. Um, but just enjoy it. And I am so honoured that I'm on Sheepski's design team that I wanted to do this video tonight so that... 
I was sharing this beautiful artwork with you. Um, I'm uh, I'm very eclectic in my craft, and as many of you know, I'm kind of a bit. I like stamping. I like colouring. I like doing um, decoupage. My creative crafting world stuff that I do. I enjoy very much just getting lost in my little craft world. Um, I've actually got Kevin crafting and tonight Kevin was sorting out his craft cupboard. <laughs> he now has a craft cupboard which I think is absolutely hilarious because if somebody had said to me before um, that I would have Kevin crafting I would certainly not have thought that would ever be the case. Um, he had no interest, he was more into his Xbox and stuff like that, um, more than crafting, but now he'll actually make his 3D makes on his scan and cut and he's brilliant at them, they're really nice. He's got a folder, for those of you that don't know, if anybody watches this, in um, The Noble Crafter. And it's Dragon's Lair, it's called. And that's where Kevin puts all his work. So if you want to see his work and comment on it, feel free to go to the Noble, Cro Noble Crafters page on Facebook. Sorry. And... Um, you'll be able to follow him. This looks like a, uh, I've lost the plot and a dreadful mess just now. Um, but it will, I hope. <laughs> it will all come together. It's These flowers are so tiny because um, Kevin printed me this out in several sizes and I should have um, used the bigger one that I've al already coloured tonight as tonight's colouring one um, but I didn't so I'm just kind of dotting these flowers in rather than doing the, the way I would normally do it and as I say I'm using Classiques um, so I'm using for the flowers I'm using DR3, DR4 and DR1 and DR2 um, just to give some light and dark shading to it so that it doesn't look flat and that's certainly the that's certainly the um, idea so I feel rusty because it's been so long since we've done this that I feel like I'm just waffling on. Um, not sure what to be telling you all. And it's not the same because I was going to do a live and then I haven't been very well. Um, not going to go into that because that's just boring. But needless to say, I haven't been feeling up to doing a live. So I decided... Um, so that I'm doing my commitment to sheepski designs that I would do this video um, to put on my page and YouTube and um, not let Andrea down because um, I really enjoy being part of her team. I um, I'm also an I Love Pro Markers design team and we've just done a challenge where it's anything goes um, and it is a lovely challenge group um, so I hope you'll be able to join us there sometime. Um, Sheepski Design sponsors I Love Pro Markers as well so that's very nice. So. And I believe that Sheepski Design also have challenge challenges and um, it would be nice if you could join us all on their challenge blog as well. Um, I think
think the theme for February, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me, but I think the theme may be hearts. Um, I hope that's right. I'm pretty sure it is. So that would be a good one to join. Oops. I can't even blame Anya for that here because it was one of mine. That was quite funny. Before Christmas, I decided to have a change. As many of you that know me will know, I've had short hair for a lot of years. But over the last couple of years, I decided to grow it. So it's quite long now, actually. It's quite down my back. And um, I decided that I was going to dye it. Well, dyeing it is hit or miss. Because of the medication and stuff I'm on, my hair is quite porous, I think. So dying it can be hit and miss anyway. So anyway, we just I we we decided. I'm saying we because Kevin actually had a, a choice. A, Kevin actually had a say in it as well, <laughs> um, because I asked him to help me pick a colour. So we decided to use this live dye, um, and we used a a purple, um, violet. I think it was called, um, and normally I'm quite. Um, not very brave so I won't leave it on as long as you're supposed to because um, it's permanent and I don't want it to go really um, vibrant but Kev was like no 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 I'm helping you with it so leave it on as long as you're supposed to so left it on and left it on and left it on and oh my goodness was my hair noticeably different when I um, when I was able to wash it off it's pretty it is pretty but it was really purpley I feel um, Kev really likes it and I do like it now it took me to get used to it a little bit but it's nice so but yeah I was quite tempted to do it blue and then I thought mm, maybe not blue rinse at my age so you just see me just go back over to bring some more shading into the um, kimono. But I tried the kimono putting pleats in the way that um, I've seen other people do it on YouTube. And, I, I, and I, I didn't really like the effect, I have to say, because I feel that the kimono um, should be quite flat. I thought I turned my sound off, but there you go, I didn't. So I got a little ping off my friend Jacqueline. Um, she's doing a live in a little while. Well, probably shouldn't have said that, because by the time you see this, she'll probably have been live. But yeah, she's going to be going live soon. Um, so I'm kind of hurrying, because I actually want to support her live. So... That's kind of what I did with that. Now, I've left doing the skin to last um, because I'm quite happy with how I'm doing my skin nowadays. Um, so I tend to do the other bits and pieces first so that if I don't um, do the dress and the clothing the way I want to do them, I can um, just bin it. <laughs> This stuff that goes in my bucket, um, yeah, just bin it and then come back in and do it later. Um, but for a, a good while, I was never happy with the skin tone, so I used to always do my skin tone first. So, did anybody get anything nice at Christmas time? Uh, anything crafty, nice. I actually did this year. My lovely husband um, got me my freestyle quilling foil pens, so that was really good. Um, really like them. Had a wee play with them, not done a great deal of playing with them as yet. Had a wee play with them and they're really good. We are memory keepers, I really do 
like we are memory keepers. So I was having the conversation with my friend who's in the United States about what to call this lady because I call her or an oriental lady and um, my friend informed me that that's not the polite terminology um, over in America. Um, they call oriental ladies, Japanese and Chinese ladies are called Asian. Um, I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe I'm um, totally wrong, but I thought here in Scotland and in um, Britain as a whole, actually, that Asian was more to do with um, Indian countries. So, I, um, I'm just calling her a gorgeous geisha, as the stamp suggest she be called because I don't want to offend um, anybody by calling her oriental um, but I this is one of my favorite type of crafting things to use is um, Chinese Japanese um, art I think it is so stylish and classy and I love how you can bring in your golds and um, do your your colours quite quite cheerful, quite quite gold and um, reds. I just really like the way that you um, use those colours. I'm just waffling on. <laughs> it's hard talking to yourself, actually. Especially when you're doing colouring, because when you're, you're colouring, you're kind of getting lost in a little zone, so... Um, I don't know, I find it quite difficult to, to blather on whilst doing stuff like this, because I just want to get lost in my little world. Now, um, I'm using uh, tri-blends as well as the classics, but the classics are the same ink now. The tri-blends, the classics and the illustrators apparently all have the same ink now, which is fantastic. Um, I've, also, I've always kind of liked the bullet tip. Um... I do have some Copics um, and I love Copics and I, I think that's probably why I like the illustrators as well because they've actually got the um, brush nib and now that I've uh, started playing with Ink Lily, Ink Lily are very similar to the um, Copics. They feel um, very similar to the Copics and... Um, they're certainly extremely juicy. I um I haven't had a great deal of playing with them as yet. So I'm hoping that over the next little while I'll be able to um play more and get to know them because I I feel that every set of pens has a a difference. I feel that um Markers in general, when you pick up alcohol markers, some pens you have to learn your your pens really. Um. So, I felt like that with the um. The classics, and I feel like that with the pro markers. I feel that you colour differently all the different pens that you use. Um, and it's just a case of learning your pens. And it's fun because it pushes you um, learning these these pens. And it pushes your colour into a whole new level, I think. Because once you get comfortable with your pens, you 
um, you get the best out of them basically. And I love the fact that the Ink Lily and the Classiques are going to be refillable like the Copics because that's meaning that there'll be less waste going into the environment because we'll need to just keep the barrels and just replace the just replace the actual ink, which is really good. And it'll be more affordable as well, I would think. Um so this was basically how I did the the little lady. Hmm. I just and I kept her quite pale. Um, I didn't. I didn't put. I did put a little bit of rouge on the one that I coloured earlier, but I was informed that that wasn't. They don't, the Asian ladies don't tend to wear rouge, so I've um, not done that with this one. This is just a quick way that I've done the um, parasol, just to add in some shading. And then, I mean, I will be going in... I won't do it just now, but I will be going in with my pencils and uh, adding more shading to, to this. And I use my colour blend pencils. I really like them. They're really good. Um, and they work perfectly with my markers. Sorry, I hope I didn't make anybody dizzy there. I'm a paper turner, so let's just keep turning that all away from you. So that was TB4, TB3 and TB2. Um, For anybody that does want to colour along with this. It amazes me how many markers it takes to colour one little stamped image. So, um, so I think I'm going to leave that at that and then we will move on and assemble the card with the little one oops with the little one that I coloured previously. Um as you can see there was more detail in the parasol and um more detail in our clothing. So I uh, liked how I, I did that. So I've got all my little bits and pieces here. So I've got my usual favourite. Linda Chapman's black card. Love, love, love it. It is the best black card by far. I have to, I have to say that in my personal opinion. I love this black card. So, and I've tried many glues over the years and expensive glues and cheap glues and, um, I used to swear by Cosmic Shimmer Glue and then I fell in love with Kalal All Purpose, um, this one, and then I fell in love with Pin Flare, I just seemed to flip from glue to glue, so I fell in love with Pin Flare and then all of a sudden I've decided that my favourite glue is now Kalal Tacky Glue. And I use it in this little bottle. So. Um, so I'm just putting some foam pads on here. I don't think I could ever do what these girls do when they're on... Um, 
create and craft television uh, or Hochanda or any of the stations. The I get nervous sitting in my own craft area talking to myself basically. <laughs> I couldn't believe how nervous I was about it earlier. I was like, I'm never gonna do lives again. But I will, I will be. Uh, how does this paper? Hmm. I don't think that. Oh, I see. The dragon is going down, up, down, up. So I think it's okay just to pop them on. I thought that wouldn't have looked very good if I'd put the card upside down. It could have been a little bit higher at that side. Now, my usual I. Um, normally die cut into my card so that I'm not wasting all that card that's getting hidden behind. Uh, I didn't do it on the big part, but I sometimes will. Just depends. I've sure not seen it anyway, so it seems like a, a dreadful waste if you're not seeing it. Uh, so, and then I'm just going to pop this one uh, up. So this is the one that I coloured earlier because I was able to put more detail in just by adding some pencils and adding my um, adding some pencils and adding my gel pen my white gel pen in, just to give it a wee bit more depth. Which I will do with the um, little one that I coloured with you guys tonight. Oh. oh dear, that kind of smeared a little bit white onto there, but we'll not worry about that. So it's just a very simple card, it's nothing Nothing too fancy, just a little simple card for you tonight. So this is just a little lantern that I had um, with the a little lantern I had with the um, die cut. And I was going to bring in, let's go put that there. I was going to bring in some, we don't know what they say these days. I was going to bring in some of these little lettering, um, but Kevin and I couldn't decide whether she was Japanese or not, um, or Chinese. So these are Chinese, and I've probably got them upside down. And everything. If there's a Chinese person watching, I do apologise if these do say anything and I've got them all um, back to front and upside down. Or So, there may be just decorative elements. They maybe don't actually say anything. I think Chinese and Japanese writing is just an art form in itself. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so... This was the way I was going to do this, and I was just going to pop these down the side just as some interest um, and hope that they're not swearing or seeing anything. I don't think so. I don't think the um, do craft made X cut made the dies, so I don't think they would have anything naughty on there. That might be upside down now. I have absolutely no idea. Kevin did say Google it and try and see what it says, but that just sounds like too much hard work. I want to be creative. I don't want to be. That probably is upside down. <laughs> ah, but I just think they add a nice little detail. And I've just made it a just for you card because it'll probably end up in a charity box. Um, and 
I was going to add some foil to the lantern and the Chinese words with my quills but I'll uh, leave it at that tonight and I can do that off screen and show you it when it's completely finished but basically that's how it's going to look so I hope you've enjoyed watching this little video thank you very much for your time this evening um, that was the one that we've kind of done together and this is how it's going to be when finished so I really appreciate you watching and I hope that you will go to www.etsy.com slash shop sheepskate designs and purchase gorgeous geisha from there so that you can colour her as well thank you for watching see you soon bye